Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jeremy from Weld Tech Designs and today we're going to be hanging out talking suspension. More importantly, we're going to be talking about suspension on your Class C motorhome and some of the things that you might be looking to do to your RV, whether it's to improve overall ground clearance or just give you a better ride because I know that is something that everybody wants on their RV that is just going to be fun on that next journey. In today's video, we're going to talk about a Thor Outlaw. This particular one is going to be a 29J and this is also a 2022 coach. So man, this thing is new and it is awesome now that we've put our Weld Tech kit on it. So here at Weld Tech Designs, we have several different suspension packages available for your Class C motorhome. On this particular Thor, we did the two inch getaway kit just to give it a little bit more ground clearance, which is going to be ideal. Now, another big thing about this kit is we put a whole new set of leaf springs in the rear of it, tapered to the weight of the RV. And that's really a key component to any of our suspension packages here because having the right leaf spring is going to make all the difference in the world. The springs are built to the weight of your RV. That's gonna be the one key takeaway that I want you to understand. We're not modifying your springs in any way. We're putting a completely new set of springs in there. What's great about that is you may have an old Older RV. Let's say your RV is a 2002 RV and you're like, man, I really need to upgrade the suspension on this. Well, this is where any of our suspension packages are going to work really well, pretty much giving you a refresher on your suspension. In the rear, we also added a set of Fox shocks in the back because the shocks are going to be the biggest thing to control how the vehicle handles the bumps and dips. That's the rear suspension in a nutshell. Now we're gonna head to the front and talk about some of the advantages of doing our suspension in the front along with the key components that are involved in this kit. So the first thing we're gonna start off on this is going to be the spring. We're putting a larger spring in the front of this. The spring is also going to have a higher spring rate which is key to also lifting the vehicle while reducing the amount of sway that this would typically have. I know that that's a big thing that's alarming to you guys. You're like, man, my RV sways a lot. If I lift it, is the sway going to be worse? And to me, the answer is no, because we're increasing the spring rate of the coil, therefore making it more difficult and taking more weight or pounds of force to compress that coil spring, which is going to be really, really important. So the next thing that we're going to do, we talked about it in the rear, we're going to add a set of Fox shocks to the front of it. These ones are a little bit shorter because you yeah, don't need as big of a shock in the front as you do the rear. Here's the next big thing, and this is one of the key things to this kit. It's going to be our modified radius arm. Now, you will notice that some of our kits offer extended radius arms as well. So you have two different kind of options, but in this one, we're trying to keep the kit less expensive, so we've opted to do our modified radius arm. Now the key to this radius arm is it's going to increase the amount of caster that your RV has with the new suspension on it and that is key. Most of you don't even know this, but your RV probably already lacks the caster that it's needed to keep it from going straight down the road. And you probably notice that when driving it, it seems to want to wander. That could be caster. If you have questions about that, I made a whole video just on talking about alignments and getting your RV aligned. Even if you're going to do no upgrades from it, it's still something important to do. Get your RV aligned, even if it's brand new. The last thing in this kit is going to be our set of modified I-beams as well. We modify the I-beams in order to correct the camber because on the I-beam suspension, you don't have the large camber adjustments that you typically find on an A-arm or IFS front suspension. So that's going to be another key component on this. The one other thing I would tell you, it's totally not necessary, but I would highly recommend it would be our steering stabilizer kit as well. It's definitely an added benefit having that. It's one of those things that you're going to thank me that you did it. Keep in mind now, here's a really important thing. If you wanna run a steering stabilizer on your RV, you don't have to put any of these things on it. You can simply start with the steering stabilizer, see how it works, notice the difference and go, wow, if that really made a difference, maybe I wanna dive in more into the suspension products offered from Weld Tech Designs. And the great part about 
about it is that steering stabilizer is going to work with all of our Ford kits. So it doesn't matter which one you choose, it's still going to work. We offer them in Bilstein, King and Fox. So depending on what you prefer, they're all gonna have slight benefits over each one. But generally speaking, it's a great addition to any Class C RV. If you're gonna be messing with that front end, these are a lot of components that I think you should have. Wow, guys, we covered a lot of stuff and boy, is this Thor Outlaw pretty awesome. I would definitely love taking this to the desert as I'm sure I could very easily fill it with toys that we have, put the kids go-karts and uh, I don't even know, I'd bikes and everything else in the back of it. So before we keep going, hey guys, make sure that you like this video give it a big thumbs up and uh, comment down below if you have any questions about anything that we talked about. And last but not least, I know that you're gonna wanna come hang out with me some more. So smash that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications so you get the notification to say, hey, Jeremy's gonna throw down some more free information and uh, I wanna be there to grab it. So back to the RV guys. So again, this is our getaway kit, which is intended to help you get away to that remote place that you wanna go camping. Heck, it may not even be remote, it may be in the campground, but you gotta be able to pull in without dragging and ripping half of your crap tanks off of the back of it. So in the front of this, we did do our coil springs up front. We did our Fox shocks as well to the front of this. We talked about the modified radius arms and the benefits of those, as well as the modified I-beams. So in the rear, we did our progressive leaf springs in the back of it with the Fox shocks as well. So you may be saying to yourself right now, like, gosh, that's a ton of information and I almost feel like he's speaking a completely different language because I don't understand it and maybe I have to watch this video again. Well, guys, I have some great news for you and in this year, we're gonna be breaking this down. We're calling this our 5C approach to the Class C. Well, heck, guys, really, it's the 5C approach to suspension across the boards, whether you have a motorhome, a van, uh, a big diesel pusher. Our goal is to take this 5C approach. And what that 5C approach is, is first, we're gonna help with the control of the vehicle. Second, we're gaining ground clearance. The next step is going to be comfort. We're gonna put a set of springs in there, increasing the towing capacity on your RV, which is going to be a big plus. With all of those four Cs, it's going to be the biggest C, and that's the confidence. We wanna give you the confidence behind the wheel that when you're out driving on the highway, those backcountry roads that you absolutely love it and have the confidence that you're not scared white knuckle driving that we hear so many people are doing with these C's. I mean, you bought this thing and you never even knew that all these other things were even an issue or a thought and now it's a whole nother learning curve. Well, I'm Jeremy and I'm gonna help you along this whole journey as well as over on my other channel at Jeremy's World 10 where I'm breaking down more RV stuff and getting a little bit more granule than I am here at Weld Tech Designs where we're discussing suspension and suspension components and key things of that nature. But I know that there's gonna be questions arise so I look forward to interacting with you guys on these videos. You know, that's where you guys leave comments down below. I would be happy to answer them. And uh, you know, I wanna come back in here and make more videos. So let me know what else you would like to see, what else you want me to break down. And uh, we'll make that happen. This video is all for you guys. This is all about education and uh, teaching you guys all the cool things that maybe that I have up in this melon. So that's all that I have. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I'm Jeremy from Weld Tech Designs. I'll see you guys in the next video.